All right, lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as put in the public to the heron era. Welcome back. Sorry for not getting an episode out yesterday. I am quite busy at university, especially, um, what was it? It was Wednesday. Today is, yeah, today's Thursday. It was Wednesday. I was, I was quite busy Wednesday. But I'm hoping to get two um, episodes recorded uh, today and hopefully another one tomorrow because uh, I'm working Saturday. But I'm off Sunday, but I've still, I've still have to do Sunday to clean the chimney now. Power wasn't too. So either way, I'm hoping to get stuff recorded. Um, now I won't lie, I have played ahead because I'm I'm really excited to play Open Again, and I kind of know what's coming next from uh, the east. I specifically selected Mosley to be in power because I'm kind of basically going for an extremist Europe run. Like you know, the nap pops are popping up all over the place. Um, you know, we're applicable to total. You know, the, you know the Sorellians are already here. All that kind of stuff. I think we get the Solidarists in Russia, but they're not extremists. Um, yeah, so I, I selected Mosley, but like I, th I think nearly every time Mosley's in power, he always goes for uh, he always goes for war with Ireland, and like in show of force, he picks Ireland, and then he goes. Um, I, I think actually, yeah, I think he go for that anyway. But like, there's multiple areas where you can choose to uh, show off the um, the Republican Navy, but uh, you can always do that anyway. But he always goes for war. There's no peace with Mosley, which is which is funny considering his um, his beliefs in our own timeline. Now, the Architects of the Resurrection Rise. Add the Architects of the Resurrection Rise, which grants daily personal power gain plus 0 0.05, stability minus 5%. Alter Alterian the Heserga, or the Architects of the Resurrection, has taken control of the nation in the wake of a democracy's death. Led by Garoda Quinagon, the NH seeks to save Ireland from liberalism, from public controlism, from the perfidious and ever plotting English by creating a Christian corporate state supported by a revival of our dying Irish language and wider. Oh, that's a lot of stuff going on there. Bloody hell. Greece has joined the Belgrade Pact. Also, I, I installed the... Um, does this work? It does work. Fantastic. Um, I installed this because we're going to get claims on, like, random stuff. Like, like I, I think uh, Chad Gamer was telling me that apparently there was, like, Irish monks up here or something in Iceland. And that's why we get cores on, on Iceland. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. You know? I, I will not be going for any territory beyond what you could consider, you know, uh, Gaelic and Celtic territory. We'll be going for Scotland... We're going for Wales. Um, unfortunately, Cornwall is rather massive in this mod. Uh, in most hearts of I think even in the base game. I think actually, I think in the base game this is designated as Southwest England, but um, Cornwall is not nearly this large. Like like Cornwall is like kind of like that. Like like Cornwall is not big whatsoever. But um, you know that is how it is, and I'm not going to leave territory not under my control. So I will be taking all of it. Um, I'll be taking Brittany as well as Upper Brittany. And I will also be likely be taking uh, Galicia as well as Asturias. Even with the middle option, we for some reason get cores on all of Portugal. Um, I don't know about ye, but I wouldn't consider Portugal a Celtic nation. Um, you know, at all. <laughs> uh, I suppose we can, we can kind of justify taking Porto. I get yeah, that's too many people for the river, I guess, for better defensive borders and uh, and such. But you know, I, I will not be taking Portugal. Um, Unfortunately, I will have to take uh, Newcastle and Northern England because the Isle of Man never gets its own state. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I will be taking that because otherwise it, it'll look ugly, though. It will look ugly. Just what can I do? By the way, first thing I want to do is... Um, Bielecki has gone after the Austro-Hungarians. That's why I decided it would be a good idea. So the Belgrade Pact exists. It does not yet exist. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll let that uh, roll on a little bit till the Romanians get in, and then I'll have the Serbians and the Romanians go for the Austro-Hungarians. Um, the as far as more, the Italians will also be getting drawn into it. Um, I saw Austria push quite a bit actually. Um, they, they did manage to push across the uh, the river. The uh, that that's the other side. Is that the Po? Is that the Po? Is this the Po? Oh, I'm not sure. I think I think that yeah, that is the Po River, I believe. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see how things go. But yeah, the British are coming very soon. Uh, like, very soon. So soon that I think we will just... Uh... Also, how long is basic training in this mod? It is... 3rd of June, 19... Do I roll ahead a little bit? Hmm. I suppose I did. Yes, I did, because I was reading this. Of course, of course. That's fine. Um... Ready, sir! Yeah, anyway, like I was saying, how long is basic training? Just quickly check the make sure the okay, recording, fantastic. Um, training finishes when? First of October, nineteen thirty-seven. Okay, so we have July, August, September, October. Okay, roughly four months. 
four months. And then, then but that's yeah, that's the basic stuff, and then you can train them up turn them up further. Okay, okay, four months isn't bad, sixty only. That's alright. That's more than what the Russians are going to be getting. Oh my fucking god. Uh, I'll I'll talk about that later once uh yeah, oh my I've seen good I've seen good and bad. Um the good is primarily just massive amounts of equipment rolling west. The bad is dudes with fucking rusted AKs, and then the, there was a guy in the tank and he was saying that he was a reservist and he didn't he'd had no refresher training. Oh my god, it's shocking. By the way, we will click that. Put him in Leinster. We'll just deploy him right now, to be completely honest. Um, because they're, as I said, rather soon. Now, um, as far as I'm aware, there's kind of something like that that we need. So we'll just get into position. Oh, fantastic. There we are. I was just about to say. Uh, sometimes the Serbians do go for the Austrians. But it appears that they have decided not to. Uh, if that is the silly thing. Serbia. Uh, stands. Fair war on Illyria. war on Illyria. It's about a civil complex. Here we are. Edition of the Belgrade Pact. Does he get involved with this? Italians, maybe. How are you doing? Working through the focus screen nicely. How are you doing that? Oh, I, I don't even want to look at this tree, man. Oh my god, I am so incensed of what happened to the Balbo Kaiser, uh, Kaiser Redux series. That was shaping up to be a fucking unreal series. We had such an amazing navy. Oh my god, we were going to do so many focuses. Oh my god. Like, we had it locked on. Oh. oh, I'm still not happy whatsoever. I don't intend on dragging out this uh, series of that, um... Up. that the same happens again. Though, to be fair, I didn't intend on dragging out the Balbo series. You know, I plan to just bring it to its natural conclusion. But no, that did not happen, did it? Myself and Giovanni Montanari will always just forever be disappointed. Now, where was I? Uh, but, uh, supported by a revival of our dying Irish language and wider ideas of uh, Irish cultural nationalism and pan-Celtic revivalism, all under an authoritarian right populist dictatorship inspired by the likes of legionnaires like Balbo, yay, hey, and Cotriano, and by the economic theories of Roosevelt and LaGuardia. With this, isn't there a LaGuardia airport in America? With this right-wing synthesis of diverse ideas guided by Catholic social teachings, we shall build a stronger, more pure, more Celtic, and more pious Irish nation for all true sons and daughters of era. All hail the new Canner, our leader. Oh, yeah, and then I might, yeah, that's or later, yeah, I was gonna say it, Mr. U, yeah, that's perfect. Oquinagon, hail. 14% isn't fantastic, but we'll get there. Now, roll on. Uh, what else do I have to prepare? Not much, to be honest. We're making artillery, we're making stuff like that. How long? Okay, we're 23 days in time, we only get 15 days. We'll keep rolling with that. After that, we're going to have to go into um, Ulster because uh, the British are about to arrive, so we need to be ready. Just get ready for this, I suppose. All in. Be great if I could get you to, like, if I could get you to, um, trained. That's not going to happen with all of you. I did tag over, I won't lie, to, um, to Britain and see what they were doing. They're, they're working on uh, a show of force, and they're very close to being able to, fin uh, to uh, finishing it. Skirmisher, I won't choose either of those. Yeah, we'll definitely get you there. Yeah, British fleet maneuvers, here we are. The British Navy has steamed out of its ports and has assembled to demonstrate its power against our neutral island in face of this grave situation. Many politicians suggest that Ireland should find someone to guarantee its independence. The most reasonable option would be Germany, but there are even some advocating a return to Windsor protection. Protection should be in quotes. Ask the Kaiser for protection. German Empire gets about Ireland requests German support. What saith the Kaiser? German rifles, British artillery. It, that that really does sum up the Irish army. Just kind of is in the uh, in the interwar period, as well as the emergency period, uh, which is what Ireland calls World War Two. But I, I don't call it that because it's weird. Uh, unless I'm specifically talking about Ireland during World War Two. And the Germans told me to feck off last time in the uh, in the. Uh, Test run, if you can call it that, I did. Okay. We're getting a decent bit of amount of training. Oh, 
Also, thank you for the fantastic reception that we've gotten in the comments um, for the series. It's been amazing uh, just talking to everyone, you know, talking to... Christian Kepley has been absolutely belting out the comments. Austin Mills has been belting out the comments. Chad Gamer as well. Um, who else do we have? I believe Blake Bridges asked a few questions. Gordozen is here. Who else is here? Ivan Sarov is here. Jeremy Bovey is here. Bodhi Lazarov. Bodhi Lav uh, Lazarov is new, but he's, um, he's getting the comments in, which is good. Immigration in the economy, the influx of American capital and technical expertise, not to mention cheap labour, has had a positive effect on our economy. Fan oh! You decided to protect us. Fantastic. Um, great. Political power plus 10. And Leinster and Ulster each get one building slot and one civilian factory. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. Germany protects Ireland. Thank you very much. You didn't last time. German government has offered to protect the Irish military and diplomatics... Uh, as opposed to offer the Irish military. I was going to say, you're only going to protect the military. And diplomatic support against you, even though there are still many circles fearing the potential rise of Hohenzollern influence, this is clearly a step towards Irish security. Most splendid indeed it is. You can still do this though, can't you? I believe you can. Yeah, you can. Like, like It doesn't matter. So. I think we're guaranteed now though. No, we're not. Never mind. I think when the British come after us, the Germans will get events like, should we intervene? And I'm, you know, they, they will most likely say, no, oh, never mind, it was a bluff. Because that's what the Canadians did in the, in the, in the test game. Because the Germans said no, then I asked the Canadians. The Canadians said yes, and then when the, when the, when the time came to, to not up or shut up, uh, the Canadians said no. But it's okay, because like, like it's naval invasions, so they're, they're fairly easy to defeat. Now... Should I build coastal forts? I'm not wasting civilian factories in coastal forts. I will... I won't waste on, I'll build factories, that's what I'll do. Also, the British. Oh, the British are... The British really bring it with the Air Force. With the Republican Air Force. It's cool that they, that they named the Republican Air Force, because then you can use the same acronym. Um, watch McCauley. They were bombing the snot out of me in the test game. All the railways were gone. They were bombing the civilian factories, bombing the military factories, bombing the ports, dockyards. Just, it, was, it was a good showing, I won't lie. But I think their flaw was that they didn't use the air force in conjunction with the naval forces to assist the landings like you know the you know the uh, shore bombardment uh, shore bombardment as well as um you know just using cas yeah they, they probably would have won if they had political questions of the day political power plus 50 despite having gained our, i could have sworn that i did this my window yeah it is i could have sworn that i've done this and like the second I did it, O'Quinnagon like O'Quinnagon was like, um, no, we're gonna keep suppressing them because I could, I I didn't delete the save. I'm almost positive that I didn't. Let me quickly check the channel. Six hundred seventy subscribers. Thank you for that. Is a lot of people. That is a large battalion. Or no, it is not. Is it a battalion? Whatever. Uh, over here. The mod actually, but all right. Next episode we. I with these did guys, go time. ahead. Is this the same save? Because my save was on the 31st of May. Uh, or the 30... No. No, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. God. Huh. I was about to say the 37th of May, but that's not a thing. That's odd. There's a bit of a disconnect in my brain. That's weird. I just need to close up all these tabs. Because I don't need them. Alrighty. Roll on. How is the oh, training man. going? Just two more. Well, yeah. You, you, you might not get there. Uh, then again, maybe you might. Actually, you might do. Glacier Lord of Mary has a picture. That's fantastic. How... Ooh, that's not going well. Yeah, and, and now the... Um, the Austrians are in. Okay. Shit. The Austrians are still pushing. They're pushing the Hungarians... They're pushing the, the, the Serbians, they're pushing the Italians. The Polish are doing well, though. The Polish are doing well. I assume you're involved in, like, against the entirety of the Empire, yes? You're not. Because you should probably attack these guys. No, that's interesting. You're only involved against the Romanians. Or uh, the uh, Hungarians, rather. That's fine. What I'll do there is I'll do this. Just because you have uh, war goals here as well. Makes sense, yeah. I'm not going to make the Romanians declare war on the Hungarians because if, if the Hungarians lose, we'll have to deal with the Austrians. Or maybe I've already gotten that event. That's odd. 
Right, the status of Ulster are available when the future of Ulster is once again up for debate. Since Ireland gained her freedom, the status of Ulster has loomed over the rest of the nation like a spectre. The, um... Uh, the unionist majority in the region have felt increasingly alienated by the government's policies and tensions have been rising steadily in recent times. People are calling for serious action on the Ulster question and the government is ready to take whatever actions are necessary to resolve it. Yeah. I could, I could have sworn I've already gotten this event. Oh, what the hell, man. That's so weird. Did I fuck up the save? Oh, man. That's so weird. That is odd. What? That's so weird. Gerald of Quindigan's policy towards Ulster. The 1937 election and the end of Irish democracy has been a catalyst for change across Ireland and a region that has experienced the brunt of the changes. Ulster, which has uh, still fiercely resisted our rule, Collins' policy towards the region has been to harshly crack down on the... Uh, unionists and at times resort to sending in the army to restore order in the north. This strategy has been referred to many as authoritarian and is unpopular with liberals in our administration. Both uh, national security and uh, national unity and security at stake. The ends are worth the means. Continue the crackdown. Then we get that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Roll on with that then. Because they, they may, may very well pop up while, whilst we are dealing with the British. And that is not something that we need. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll get there. Come here. We are pushing 2.57 a day. How many would that have actually been? Okay, that's interesting. Now, the Prince of Thomond, Raymond Moulton O'Brien, a strange supporter of the blue shirts of O'Duffy and O'Quinnagon's Alteri... Alteri... Ah. Al... Yeah. Alteri and There we are. I swear to God I know how to say it. Uh, July 37. It's probably just Cass, yeah. Uh, is a known crazy element among certain circles in Ireland pushing to be high king of a non-existent monarchy. O'Brien is the pretender to the Earldom of Thomond and the prince of the fictitious Principality of Thomond. I think uh, in, in Red Flood, like the whole, like the Munster Leinster thing, like the way the uh, Irish states are usually done in um, in, in most Hearts of Iron Formats is gone. And it, it, instead it's like all, you know, Desmond, Thomond and like all the old stuff because somehow Podrick Pierce is, is, the, is the high king of a republic, which is interesting. Um, it is unknown whether he created this fake microstate as a scam, as a bid at aristot aristocratic legitimacy, or as an act of insanity and instability. What is known is that his so-called Prince of uh, Prince of Thomond is a liability to any movement he attaches himself to. He must decide what to do with this freak, lest he make a mockery of our platform. Yeah, we can't, we can't really have that around. Th now the thing is, he's a, he's an interior minister. Um, yes, he's an interior minister, and our current interior minister is absolutely atrocious. It, he's really terrible. So I believe we do get another option for another interior minister, uh, in addition to um, Moulton O'Brien, but he's basically an anti-Semitic Catholic fundamentalist, which I don't like. Yes, yeah, there he is, Dennis Fahey. He, like, no, like, like the, the stats are, are good. Don't get me wrong. Political power gain, you know, consumer goods factories, uh, stability. It's all fantastic, but I'm really not interested. Francis Stewart. I wonder how Archbishop John Charles McQuaid. That's interesting. I never got any options for you. I would gladly take either of you. Prob I'm, I'm going to aim for Francis Stewart because the rest of these seem churchy. I think you Now, allow this prince of to profess his insanity in peace. Off of his head. Unnecessary. Form in prison. Yeah. I'm, I'm not having some random monarchist in the government. Like, like, don't get me, I like the stats, and, and the stats are better. But again, like, we're, we're very new. We, we, we can't be, we, we can't be fucking this up early. Uh, throw him in prison. If he wants to act like a noble, we will be treated, uh, treated, treated as such. Throw him in prison. Prison power plus five. Yeah, that's, 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 that's weird. Okay. Uh, bye bye. Yes, sir. There isn't going to be any uh, kingdom. No, no. The Mary Shannon flag. During our conflict with the Anglos during the 1916 revolt, the original Irish yeah, Republic flag designed and created by Mary Shannon was stolen by the British dogs and stolen away to England, where it now resides. Oh, fantastic. We can actually continue training off. Fantastic. Um, with it being increasingly clear that us in England come to, may come to blows, a section of the government has moved for us to draft a plan to recover the flag should we or an ally end up occupying the lands of perfidious Albion, with conflict seemingly on the horizon and a want for some kind of plan to deal with the British in... Uh, in deal with the British and want. Is, is that a... Not a 
Because yeah, the plan has been adopted with the intention of being. That's that's not how you spell that. Okay, that, that yeah, that was definitely a typo. Being to expand the idea into a general plan for dealing with the various treasures of the British. But didn't the British recently give something back? I could have sworn they did. With the draft already being accepted, another small group a uh, small group has proposed. Oh yeah, Uli Novice here. That's right. That's spirit. Uh, I suppose that we actually adopt the flag of 16 as the national flag no. while having less impact on the tricolor yeah the proclamation flag is still a very powerful symbol if not more powerful in some cases for those who fight for Ireland if we were to adopt the flag it would be a clear sign to the Brits and their ilk that we shall not rest until our freedom is truly secure either way if if and when England yeah, England falls to Irish boots we shall have a clear plan of action to recover our nation's treasures I will not be adopting this flag because it's it's kind of an odd flag. It's it's kind of like uh, I don't know if the Americans if if the if the official flag of the United States was America was just like I don't know like a red a red blue and white tricolor with United States of America written on it. It's just kind of weird. Um, though though that, that that seems oddly American and patriotic, so I, I can nearly see that being a thing. Uh, be, be hilarious if it was the uh, the Russian pan Slavic tricolor just with uh, just with the United States of America written on it or the French one or something like that. That'd be funny. But um, yeah, we should reclaim our history, but adopting a new flag is a step too far. That is correct. Now problems with integrate with the Americans, right? From the start, it was obvious that there would be some problems integrating the Irish Americans into our public. The wealthier note the lack of democracy as they knew it in the U.S., while the less well-off feel that their situation is being exploited by Irish business. Locals also have grievances as they feel the newcomers are stealing jobs from them, as well as seeing their cultural traditions as not in keeping with native Irish culture. To top it off, unionists view the immigrant as an attempt. Oh, they're still doing it. Oh, they went. They went for diplomacy. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Fucking. See. This, this, why bother doing the test game when everything ends up being different? Uh, well, to be fair, it wasn't just to see what would happen. It was to see... Um, well, it kind of was to see what happened. I'm very excited for this. Uh, the top it off units view the immigrants as an attempt by the Republic to colonise Ulster, where many have settled. That's a, that's a fantastic idea. Something must be done. Political power minus 35. I must turn the music back up. What's this? Ooh, yes. Uh, oh, will I go for that? Or will... Yes, I already went for this. But we have no chief of staff yet. Oh, we have generic ones as well as uh, unique ones. That's fantastic. No doubt Ono Duffy is here, is he? Where's Ono Duffy? Uh, like, we're not having Ono Duffy as our chief of staff, but he's, he's probably is here. Where is he? Yeah, there we are. Not bad. I do like elastic defense for that supply consumption. And the army experience is nice. But no, you're already the feckin' Taoiseach. How would I know which one is which, though? I assume that, that Okanagan is the pre war Yeah. Oh, Duffy is a t-shirt. Hopefully, though. But he had a... Like, he got fat quick, so he'll die soon, hopefully. In recent days, diplomats from the Union of Britain have begun to make intimidating moves in Ireland, demanding a number of privileges and reforms. Well, this is, is the beginning of a bigger campaign. Well, I'm glad you chose words, Mosley. I'm not sure what I can give you, though. Um, you get an event first, though. Let's see. Now... Oh yeah, fire divisions, that's super strong. Now, press the unionists. The Ulster unionists have... What What do the Ulster unionists want? Is this is this a union with Britain or a union with Canada? Because I'm getting the feeling that they're not very syndicalisty. I think that's part of the new lore in Kaiserreich. Um, is that the reason that they... Like, there is no, like, northern campaign, like, Battle of Belfast. 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 It's, um... The Protestants and unionists in the north are more afraid of the syndicalists than they are of the Irish. Uh, and they're the Irish Republican, so that like, like they're like it's it's a uh, it's a supplying confidence su yeah supplying confidence agreement between themselves and Michael Collins. Uh, the, they are Irish in name only and have shown themselves time and time again to be enemies of the Republic. It's time to start cracking down upon the Unionists, preventing them from organising any future marches or rallies. It weakens them in the event of a civil conflict. Reinforce the Ulster Guardi. Raise five divisions of Guardi divisions. Not like you know I don't know I don't know what what, what are police measures in. <coughs> Berlin warns London Germany has come to our aid. They have sent a letter to the ambassador of the Union of Britain. They will either apologize for their impoliteness or suffer the diplomatic consequences. We knew they'd pull through for us. No, no we didn't. Berlin. Well, this is kind of awkward. I shouldn't have deployed these units. A dinner party with a twist? What? What the hell? Is Why aren't we getting any events for this? Instead of it being news events. Um, these developments are on British ambassador and his attitude to a dinner party. Grumpy Stew. 
with Irish public controllers cheering on the British delegation with the spiteful parting gesture of the British campaign against Ireland seems to have come to an end. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that sounds about right. That was very weird. I nearly would have preferred you to just invade. <laughs> that was very odd. Oh, a new flag for the nation. Oh, man. That's a, that's a, whole, that's a whole thing right there. You know, Gaelic Taoist syncretism. Terence James Stannis Gray, better known as Wei Wu Wei, is an Irish nationalist poet, playwright, and Taoist monk, and philosopher that has long been friends with the Canor, famous for his dance dramas and his work at the Cambridge Festival Theatre. Wei Wu Wei is a noted naturalist, spiritualist, practicing druid and neo salmon. Oh, I don't like you. And supporter of A&H ideology and eco. Oh, never mind. I thought it. Never mind. Eco radicalism. Never mind. I thought it was like a core radicalism or something. I was like, what the fuck is that? No, the, uh, though the strange dress and ideas may turn many off, the Kenner has given his old friend all the support and aid he needs to spread his message throughout Ireland, slightly increasing the amount of Taoists on the Emerald Isle, but massively increasing the popularity of the Kenner as he once again proves his commitment to freedom of faith and a religion, so long as you're a committed Irishman. See, that's the thing. Oh, then again, he's cracking down on the Unionists, not necessarily the Protestants, although there's a huge overlap. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he's still doing the Christianity thing. Okay, I think I, think I believe I'm correct in saying that. His ideas may not catch on, but he has the counter support political power plus 25. Alrighty then. Okay, yeah. As long as it's just the unionists, I don't mind. Like, sp specifically the unionists, yeah, the unionists for their unionism. Not the Protestants for their unionism. But actually, no, just as long as it's, as long as it's the unionism that's being cracked down upon, I don't mind. Just as long as they're not persecuting Protestants or Protestantism. Not getting to think that's going to be a lot of that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a chief of staff. That is a good idea. Who should we get? Liam Linton. Oh. Recruitable population is nice, but we're already going to get a decent bit of it, and I don't want to be feeling ridiculously large army because that's just weird. Okay, School of Mass Combat, there's a lot of that. That's for armor divisions, won't be getting much armor. Ronnie O'Malley, okay. A lot of mass, well, that's a lot of mass combat. Naturally, Toby. Jim O'Cahey. Wait, you don't grant any, uh, any army experience. No, oh, never mind, I'll go over here first, never mind. Do you grant army experience? You do. Did I misread it? No, I didn't. Okay. Yes, we will choose this one first. Uh, Michael Reardon. Do I, no, I do, I do want to select one, so we'll have to pick one. Uh, Guns and Butter. Guns and Butter is a nice one, to be fair. Don't suppose there's anyone with Guns and Butter, but with a rec more recognizable name. Specifically, someone in our general staff. Uh, Armored Spearhead, yeah. I don't know how you managed to get into that. We don't have many tanks. We, don't have, any, we, we have some. How many tanks do we have? We had 40 tanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to this, yes. I'll go for Michael O'Rear. Chief, uh, Chief of Army, Guns and Butter Doctrine. Arm experience plus 0.12. Daily division organization plus 10%. Supply consumption minus 10%. Yes. I think I believe Michael Reardon is in our roster. Unless I'm uh, wrong in saying this. I don't remember seeing him. Yes, indeed he isn't. <coughs> I'll wait and see if I can get some, uh, some Arm experience. Um, some land auction reduction um, bonuses before I use that. Now, O'Quinnagon denounces integralism. Denounces! While the ANH stands as the most prominent national populist group in Ireland, certainly uh, certain other groups inspired by integralist groups such as the Portuguese IL, the Mexican PIN, and the Action Francaise have unsuccessfully attempted to sway O'Quinnagon into following their deluded ideals. Hugo O'Neill is one of the most prominent integralists in the general staff. That Hugo O'Neill? The guy with the glasses and the nose? Oh, that's Hugo, Hugo McNeil. Never mind. My bad. My bad. Um. No, Hugo, Hugo O'Neill's the guy in Portugal. Yeah, yeah, that's right, my bad. Now, Hugo O'Neill's one of the most prominent integralists, and while he resides in... Yeah, I should, I should have just kept reading. His supporters want to place him on the throne of a restored Irish monarchy. O'Quinnigan has fired back at these groups with fuel fury, decrying the ideals of monarchism as insane and outdated, and declaring his intention to dismantle all systems of aristocracy in Ireland. O'Neill is not the first person to attempt to sway the ANH towards the idiotic ideals of monarchism. Uh, Raymond Moulton O'Brien has also made feeble attempts to claim the Irish throne, attempts that were met with nothing but ridicule and mockery. Integralism, how idiotic. Ooh, okay. You're costing us allies. <laughs> Change in popularity of national populism 5%. Okay, we didn't need that, though. 
That was... Uh, that, that was against you against Georgia. Who did you just defeat? You defeated someone. Also, the last officer to hurry up and conquer, this, conquer Southern Russia. The R way path just seems weird. It's wrong timelines. It's, uh, it's, uh, no, it's weird. Guess uh, get working on tanks. Now, reinforce the Ulster Gardaí race. Fuck, that's ridiculous. As tensions in the region continue to rise, it is obvious that a larger police force, the Gardaí, is needed in Ulster. We should support the Belfast Constabulary by expanding the local police force considerably to better cover the entire region. Raise five divisions of Gardaí. Like, who, like who measures police in, in army terms? Like, divisions? That's a lot. Like, 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 like let's just say, like, our current um, division here is, like, ten and a half thousand men. Are you going to send, what, you know, 52... Oh, 50, you know, 52 and a half thousand men. 52 and a half thousand police into Ulster, specifically. Like, we don't have 52 and a half thousand police in the entire Ireland, in the entire island of Ireland. You know, that, that's a lot of police. Yeah, we, we just conscripted all the American refugees into being police officers. Unionist workers clash in Belfast. Following the shift in power that occurred when the British were chased out of Ireland, many Catholic business owners rose to prominence in Ulster. However, their rise in socioeconomic status came often at cost to the Protestant residents of the region. Who had previously enjoyed such unbridled dominance over the Catholic minority, a group of Ulster Unionist factory workers went on strike today, citing unfair pay and unwarranted treatment by their Catholic employer. Their strike soon turned violent when they, are, uh, they were attacked by what some believe uh, to be hired thugs. Nobody was killed, although Belfast City Hospital had plenty of patients in the immediate aftermath. This will not do. To, uh, this won't do. The, uh, this will not do the tense situation in Ulster any favors. No, it will not. This is worrying. Yes, it is. Physical power 20, minus 25, and we just immediately got hit with another one. Listen up. Yeah. You were going to send 32,000 Gardaí into Ulster. 32,000. Like, I, I, there isn't 32,000 in the entire Ireland. In the entire Ireland. Like, what? I, I, that's twice I've tried to say in the entire Ireland. Yeah. Um, do you have all of your equipment? Because if so, that's incredibly useful. Yes, you do. Splendid. We're not missing anything, per se. But, um, we can't see that. How much of that net is? Surely that is something. Oh no, it don't. Yes, it did. We returned unto our home. We occupied Belfast. Yes, we will do that. Attention! Understand the turn stones off. How was it half an hour in already? What? The scrambled populace in Ulster. For some time now, there has been a slow but surely growing unrest in the northern region of Ireland. Ulster, stirred up by predominantly Protestant Unionists who advocate for closer ties with England. Okay, it is England. That's interesting. I thought they were fairly anti uh, syndicalist. Ulster has become something of a problem region for the doll. Something of a problem region, yeah. Just something. If the situation is not handled carefully, the issues that divide the region are sure to grow more incendiary. This is a delicate matter. That is a fact. Physical power, again, minus 25. Reoccupy Belfast. Political power plus 25 weakens the Unionists in the event of a civil conflict. The Unionists have in the past raised threats about civil conflict and secession. Uh, and if they were to do so, we absolutely must not allow them to have Belfast under any circumstances. It has become our second most industrialized city and is far too precious to lose to the enemy, and not to mention a strategic port from which the Unionists could receive help. It must be put under military occupation. Uh, that doesn't sound fantastic. Uh, a buzzing development. The Federation of Irish Beekeepers Association celebrates Ireland's one and a half thousand year old beekeeping tradition and history by keeping a uh, Apiarism is that is that beekeeping is that the official name I didn't know that and well across the alive and well across the Emerald Isle our climate is perfect for beekeeping and when paired with our natural fields and prairies filled with varied wildflowers you've got a recipe for making some of the best honey on earth from traditional clay straw or mud apiaries to modern wooden or metal designs um, apiaries and apiarists can be found from Dublin and uh, Dublin to Cork and all in between ensuring that beekeeping is a lively and productive part of Irish culture funding groups internationally with our bees such as with Lermond and Lovell in New England and the agrarians in Iceland and Czechia, our bees have even been allowed us to have even allowed us to foster uh, to foster better international relations. There is uh, truly nothing honey and bees cannot solve. Thank God for bees indeed. Save the bees. The fate of the new Sinn Féin. Oh yes. That's right. We get to merge with Sinn Féin. Which is currently the is is currently tied with O'Duffy's Army Comrades Association, which isn't really a political party. It's currently the largest party in Ireland. Even, even larger than our own. Um, in the game, that is. It's also the largest party in Ireland. In our own world, though. Now, that is fine. 
The fate of the new Sinn Féin with the destruction of national level Irish democracy. The major parties of the old Republican system have begun to, to shift and splinter as new alliances are made and new policies are taken into account. More, most interesting to the ANH is the fate of the left wing nationalists of Sinn Féin. Though SF has largely shattered over ideas of secularism and economics, a new core of IRA veterans and radical nationalists have risen to lead the party, led by the three Max. Uh, Tony Magan, Paddy uh, McLogan, <laughs> and uh, Tomas Og Mac, uh, Mac Curtin. Okay. Oh, guys, well, he's Tommy Mag. Yeah, that, that, that works. That's fair. I've never met anyone named Mick Logan before. Is, is that an actual person? Because that sounds made up. Because Logan is a Scottish surname. Oh, my God, it was. He is an actual person. Yeah, he was, he was President of Sinn Féin. That's interesting. Now, where was I? Uh... The new Sinn Féin has taken a rightward shift, embracing a fusion of ANH inspired corporatism, pulling from the papal uh, encyclicals of Pope Pius XI, as well as from the integralist ideas of Portugal's Estado Novo movement, with uh, radical Christian nationalism and their own decentralized left wing socio economic positions. Far from the first time the ANH has taken inspiration from the left, with ANH founder O'Quinnigan already pulling ideas from American progressives such as uh, Fiorello. LaGuardia and the Roosevelt's many have pushed for a party to ally with these newly reformed right-wing uh, leftists while others uh, others still spit in their direction with disdain over their so-called crypto syndicalist ideas should we move to incorporate the new Sinn Féin or shall we walk alone and as we create a new and, pro a new and prosperous era no we will work with the three max to build a new corporatist Sinn Féin absolutely because we need we need like we've got the support of 16 percent of the population okay, I suppose we can count that you know O'Duffy as well so yeah that's fair he is the t-shirt after all. But like, yeah, it's not representing us as being in coalition, which is interesting. Work with the three Macs to build a new corporatist SF. The Social Democrats have joined the coalition. Change the popularity of, uh, popularity of national populism 5%. See, it still only says 21%. But now we have gone to popular patriotism. So now we have a new ideology. Interesting. I think Legionnaires probably fit us better though. Instead of a, what is that? Is that a crow with a rose in its mouth? Doesn't really, is it an eagle? Kind of looks like a crow. Crow isn't a great symbol. Core reminds me of Bioshock Infinite. I didn't like that game. Well, it wasn't even a Bioshock game, in my own opinion. Attention! Now you're still training up. That's fantastic. Uh, cleansing Ireland. Canner O'Quinnigan has long despised the Irish period system or nobility and title system for it has forever reeked of its Anglo roots. I agree. An inspiration in order to truly bring about the resurrection of Gaelic culture, we must enact Canner O'Quinnigan's will and make his wish a reality. We shall destroy all royal titles and the period system, removing all aristocratic and Anglo taint from our class system as we seek to create a free and equal but entirely and only Irish society, equal only for Irish men and Irish women. However, we could choose to pick up the scraps of the period system in order to truly pay homage to our ancestors by creating the old clans system. Dividing our society up in clans that administer their designated areas cooperate with each other through trade and services and that pay tribute and send military aid to Canner or Quinnigan should he need it as he runs the national government and his own highest great clan. That sounds a lot like federalism and like a tribal system. I dislike that. That, that's, yeah, that sounds like militias. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, yeah, ab absolutely. No titles or classist hierarchies will restrain Ireland ever again. Yes, there's going to be one government. <laughs> there isn't, yeah, none of this, yeah. Look at Purple's 10 changes in popularity of national populism 5%. I'm surprised it's not nearly the other way. Interesting. Because this kind of seems like the better option. And that it makes sense that the other option had the political power. And it, it makes sense if this had the political power and this had the uh, national populism. I, I suppose. Whatever way. There's arguments. For and against. Yes, indeed. All right, twenty-six percent. That's 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 pretty good. Now we have a majority, I believe. That's thirty-six and forty-two. And that's fifty-two. Okay, fifty-eight. Fantastic. Fifty-eight percent. Glorious. No. Getting artillery. That's good. I'm surprised we're not currently being invaded. I did not anticipate that at all. Uh, the killing fields of Ireland. The soldiers continued their patrol, marching across the boggy quagmire until the leading footman took uh, took one step too far. Within moments, a small canister appeared from nowhere and flung up from the mud to about hip level before exploding. Sending shrapnel and the point man's flesh scattering in all directions. Is that a bouncing Betty? That's what it sounds like. As a burst near the waist of the lead man, turning most of his body into a pink mist while the surviving uh, chunks... Dropped like waste meat at a processing plant. Fucking hell. Panic spread among the ranks of the squad and soon two other soldiers ran off in different directions being similarly explosive. Uh, meeting similar. Oh yeah. Being similarly. Yeah, I, I, I thought of that misreal. Being similarly explosive and meaty faith. It would seem that the ruling regime were employing fragmentation. Bouncing Betty mines. Yeah. That's what I thought. Against their foes. Mining off critical areas with bombs designed to bounce up to waste level before detonation for maximum aiming effect. 
There have been rumours of traitors to the regime being executed by being tied to landmines before detonation, but to mine your own homeland to such an extent was previously unthinkable. And yet, here these traitors were being blasted to fleshy bits. If any rebel or ill force is to make a step against our, against the ruling regime, they better do so with one eye glued to the ground, for no foot footfall is safe for any enemy of the state in Garoda Quinnagon's Ireland. What? Is that the best you got to make O'Quinnagon look like the bad guy? That is terrible. That's... Oh my god, I thought the last series was bad making Soldier Netson look like the bad guy. That's even worse. O'Quinnagon is mining Ireland. Let, let me re... Let me, let me skim through this again. Soldiers continue their patrol. Traitors of the regime. Okay, that, that's understandable, but these guys are on patrol. Are they soldiers or are they... Is, is this... Are these insurgents? Against their foes. What the fuck? That's weird. A vile way to go, but necessary for free and say What the fuck? Ugh. No. That's the... That's the most cartoonishly vill villainous thing I've ever read. And I've read a lot of shit because I've played the new order. Ugh. That's just fucking weird. I, I would understand if it was just the executing traitors by landmine thing. But the whole just somehow being able to anticipate where they'll move and planting the mines there when anyone can just walk and now oh my god that was terrible. Destroy the Ulster Volunteer Force Political Power Plus 50 weakens the Unionists in the event of a civil conflict that was fucking terrible. The Ulster uh, good the Ulster Volunteer Force these so-called freedom fighters are nothing more than a band of terrorists we must infiltrate the movement and destroy them completely if Ulsters have any sort of lasting peace we'll hunt down their leaders and put an end to their recruitment weakening the physical force aspect of the Unionist movement considering that was just terrible that is oh I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while that is just ridiculous. Impressive advances made. Uh, given time and plenty of funding, the ESIC has developed into a modern force in scientific research. Wow, yeah, in the span of, like, not two years. To the point where Ireland is starting to be seen as a respected nation in terms of, the, of its research and development capabilities. We went from a backwater to a leading nation in not two years. Yes, that's... I get Hearts of Iron 4 doesn't really take place over a long time period, but... You <laughs> make an effort. No longer shall the Irish people be mocked as peasant farmers and louds. Yeah, we, we just completely did away with stereotypes uh, abroad. You know, our own national stereotypes... Overseas in the space of less than two years. Replace experienced ESIC with renowned ESIC. Effective change of research speed plus two percent. That's so stupid, man. Oh my god, that is a lot of men. That is fantastic. Yeah, that's World War One artillery. That is bad. Artillery is artillery. I suppose. No, you don't need to be an ulcer. It's weird for uh, 136,000 Irish troops to be in an uh, ulcer. That's just unnecessary. What I will do, though, is, is what I was doing before I was um, anticipating uh, being invaded. This is what I should do. What the fuck? Oh, my bad. I misclicked. What the hell? That's supposed to happen? <coughs> I don't think what just happened is supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. I can't create new field marshals. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. That's not good at all. Now, I think we should read about Garrow de Quinnigan. Gerald de Quinnigan is a radical Irish language scholar born in Belfast into a middle class Catholic family. He joined the Army Comrades Association and managed to work his way up to Minister for Justice of Ireland. Uh, did I read this already? Just warning. Yeah. Uh, Minister for Justice of Ireland as a result of his charisma, leadership and radical ideas which attracted the interest of ACA leader Owen O'Duffy. As Minister for Justice, he passed laws repressing syndicalism as well as anti-traveller sentiment laws. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, I definitely did read this. As well as using his influence to encourage the Irish language. He also maintained links with the Romanian armed guard expressing sympathy for establishing a similar regime in Ireland. To this end, he formed his own party, Alteri Nasherga, that would resi that would resi revive the Irish language, abandoning the language after a period of five years and establish strong anti syndicalist and anti Semitic policies. Five years might be a bit too soon, ten will be a bit better. Though more people spoke Irish back then. So. What can I say? We have that factory built, good. I suppose just more infrastructure then. Sorry about that. Actually, no, don't build infrastructure because I could swear that we get events uh, 
to do with building infrastructure. Instead, just give me factories, to be honest. Just give me some factories in Connacht. Because God knows we need some industry in Connacht. There we are. That's the Ulster Tree done. Fantastic. Fighter 1 is finished. Glorious. It's almost 38. We shall be cracking on some research. And some new weapons. Yep, that's that. They fought to save my jewel. Yeah, I probably run down that, yeah. And they Makes sense to, to do. Oh, shit, we still gotta do that. We have a lot of stuff to do. Damn. Was my grief, said she. Long time. Now that we have our own, um. Set the final watch my call it. Our own, or not, not our own, but um, now that we have a majority government, we say we we are kind of safe though a bit. So I think I actually might run down this. Also, it just give me good, it just give me good buffs anyway. Maybe I'll leave that to later. Maybe it'll maybe it'll change with the focus rate. Uh, which is better for this? I'd rather get this out of the way. Yeah, makes sense anyway. Laws against the syndicalist virus. Oh, that's a nice long description. Remove unraveling physical scene. Oh, fantastic. Um, which grants daily physical power gain minus 0 0.05. Daily physical power cost plus 0 0.05. Stability minus 5%. Daily syndical support plus 0 0.02. Daily social democrat and social conservative support plus 0 0.02 each. Change the popularity of radical socialism and, and syndicalism minus 10% each. As far as I'm aware, radical socialists aren't big, but the syndicalists are. Jim Larkin's here. I like Jim Larkin. Now... Syndicalism is a wretched creation designed to infiltrate the minds of the people to sway them into violent radicalism and anti-Irishness for the good of foreign masters and theorists over any true good for the local masses, as if it were a virus eating away at the fabric of Ireland and her people. Though our ideology does incorporate some leftist economic policies, that does not mean we shall allow such vile and openly radical ideology to infect our island. Syndicalism, revolutionary leftism and other radical socialism shall all be outlawed by the state, though certain acceptable forms of left-leaning progressive ideas and economic theory shall of course stay, for the canner has incorporated many of these non-infectious ideas into the party line of the Alterian Hesseriga. Ireland will be cleansed of the lies of these demagogues, replaced with true and uncompromising right-wing populism, for that is what the Irish people truly need. So true. Armour. I believe armour in Irish is ummer. Very creative, I know. A lot of Irish words are like that. It's it's the English word, change the base, maybe slap a fada on it. Oh god, it just drives me up the walls. But I want yes. Uh, let's read the um, political chaos. Thing. I believe I've actually read that already. Yeah, yeah. This is actually the um, this is the national threat that you start with. Okay, that's fantastic. We'll, uh, we'll get more stuff. Get more political power. Also, I should be using this for the officer corps, shouldn't I? Do we have access to the, uh, yeah, political loyalty we do. That's good. Dublin's liquid heart. Oh, for fuck's sake. Established by Arthur Guinness at St. James's Gate in Dublin in 1759. Is that 1759? Guinness is the national brew of Ireland, a, dr a, a dry, an Irish dry stout black or very dark ruby in a colour that is nicknamed liquid bread by many with nearly half of Dublin employed by the brewery. That's fucking sad. Or connected to it in some way, it is one of the largest companies in Ireland and an industrial and financial centrepiece of Dublin and the nation at large by subsidising the company and working closely with the brand. We can dip into their vast reservoirs of profit to benefit the state with Guinness at our side. Ireland's economy is too big and too delicious to fail. No, no such thing. Nothing should ever be too big to fail. Nothing is ever too big to fail. It. I hate. I hate when you hear, whenever you hear governments talking about fucking. Oh, it's too big to fail. Let it fail. It, sh it shouldn't be. That's how capitalism works. Not fit enough to survive. Bye bye. With their help, Ireland will flourish. Add one off absolute factory. Fantastic. But of course, it's not really capitalism. It's oligarchic capitalism, which isn't capitalism. It's just. This is horrific. It's just monstrosity to be killed. What did that actually give us? I didn't. I didn't pay attention. I'll look back over it. I do not remember. Oh shit! We need trains. That makes sense. To be honest. We do also need more artillery. I'm afraid. Portuguese Empire has joined the Entente. 120 guns per division, please. Once we have ships, that's weird. Well, it's not weird, but <laughs> I suppose, yeah, it's not weird. 
Ben Burp, Castlebar, Clamel, Port Leicester, Contrabret, or Contrabret, I mean. Contrabret, I believe it's how it says. And Yellow Forward. All of the Velt Creek and Howard Falls. We do have a lot of them. Improved infantry equipment. I love how we just can't decide like what we're going to um, like what like which country we're going to stick with in terms of equipment. We've got the British rifle here, German rifle here, American rifle here, and a French rifle here. Or Belgian, Belgian for Greek, for Greek nationality is yeah. FN Hostel. FN is um, is Belgian. That's right. Like pick one and then decide. Now, oh, fantastic. We should, yeah, we should work our way down this. But I saw, I saw something saying that uh, that multiple paths are available when you have the coalition drop. Is that correct? Was it here that, that I saw? It? Democratic Ireland, Nap Up Ireland can form coalitions with other parties, and most have paths have sub ideology swap options. Oh, that was probably that. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Nap up, sock down, fusion, get out of the sap. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Shame. I was hoping for more focuses. Though we do have a um, a decent number of focuses to be getting through, but a lot of it's kind of generics and stuff. I don't uh, this kind of stuff. Yeah. Also, these are 42. Ah, 42 days was rough. I've got a lot of shit to do. It's already 38. I think we should. That's easy plus a party fair. Yeah, we yeah, we'll work our way down the street. Or will we? Yeah, we've kinda of done what the important stuff here. This is this is less important. We'll do this. Promote traditional Celtic revivalism and promote traditional Celtic revivalism, which grants daily political power gain plus 0 0.02, monthly population minus 2%, stability plus 2%, and conflict support minus 5%. Once a member of the Irish language promoting uh, social and cultural org and, and so promote. Yeah. Yes, yes. Once a member of the Irish language promoting social and cultural organisation called the Cunner Nagwelga or the Gaelic League before breaking off to form his own pan-Celtic nationalist group called the Crave Nahasherga which later evolved into our current party O'Quinnagon has risen to become the face of Celtic nationalism and Gaelic revivalism calling for a resurgence of the Irish language and of traditional Celtic culture and clan identities I don't like Okay, in that case why do we even have an option to do that? Uh, to reinstate the clans. The eventual prohibition of English once the populace fully adapts to this new idea of a holy Irish Ireland. Pro-natalist policies to expand the Celtic population. Nice. But the thing with pro-natalist po policies, right, is that they're constantly tried and they do work a bit, but they usually don't work for long. The best way to increase births is to create the economic conditions for people to have families. Like, no matter how many subsidies you give out, you know, subsidizing this, subsidizing that, you know, taxes off here, taxes off that, you know, fuck, I think, I think if you have four kids in Hungary, the, the, Orban will just give you a car or something like that. No, or no, no, on that, um, if, if you have four kids, you just don't pay income tax or something like that. But the best way to do it long term is just create good economic conditions and have people be stable financially and, you know. Create the economic conditions and the babies will follow. Instead of, you know, oh, I don't understand why this isn't working, even though everyone's tried it a hundred times. Now, uh, and a ban on Irish immigration. The ca oh, that, oh, yeah. that, that immediately reminds me of how Putin just lets the dissidents go, which is a good idea, instead of just keeping them within the borders. The Canara Garrow de Quintagon will make Ireland truly and only Celtic again, very nice, by working with the Pan Celtic Women's Group, uh, Common Assertia, along with the Nationalist and Pan, -Celt and Pan Celtic Movements in Scotland, Wales, the Isle of Man, and Brittany. The Canara will ensure that the Pan Celtic Dream and this, uh, uh, oh fuck, Gaelic Apre, Afra, yeah, Afra, or Gaelic Renaissance shall flourish and shall spread prosperity and honour for all true children of Celtica. I believe there was a Pan Celtic strain of the IRA as well, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But it wasn't like the IRA that, that threw the British out of Ireland. It was like the um, a provisional IRA, real IRA, a continuation IRA. That's kind of the late stage IRA. Uh, da, 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 that's all. Oh, the new flag for the nation thing is absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's, it's. I'll, I'll leave that 
to a separate video that I'll record after this because it is just unreal. Like I'm not, I'm very fond of the tricolor myself because it, it's such a great flag. Green for Catholics, orange for Protestants, white for the unity and peace between them. It, it, it doesn't really get much, get much better than that, which is why I get pissed off when I, when the bonfires happen in Northern Ireland and they throw the tricolor. That means peace and unity between Catholics and Protestants on said bonfire. And, you know, just think, what? What are you doing? Nearly fully trained. That's good. And you, like you'd often hear people saying, "What's the what's the you know the flag of a unified Ireland going to look like?" What the fuck do you think? The the only other flag that I'd ever consider is like a federation type flag, where like the um, the regional flag of each, um, the regional flag of each province is on the uh, is on the flag. Like the bottom left would be the Munster flag, the bottom right would be the Leinster flag, the top right would be the Ulster flag, the top left would be the Connacht flag. Something like that. It is the only kind of reasonable alternative to the tricolor. The, the tricolor is already, it's there, you know. It's, it's, yeah. The doll considers the economy. As in previous years, the doll are meeting to decide the annual economic focus for the nation. The positions of the main power players in Irish politics has not, oh, yes, they very much have changed. Wait, oh, are you, are you kidding me? We don't get a, a Garota Quinnagon option? That's stupid. That is stupid. I suppose Sinn Féin is in the coalition so we'll go for them yeah Sinn Féin and Fiona Fáil are correct change the popularity of social liberalism social democracy and market liberalism two and a half percent yeah that oh, I, wish I, I wish that was changed that makes no sense why has that not changed oh, that's very annoying now what else is there French Republic? That's nice. That's Russia. That's nice. That's still there. That's. I imagine that would have gotten removed in uh, in this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lost out on two civilian factories and four levels of infrastructure, and and plus five percent stability. God damn it! What what's the point in that in, the, in that national spirit giving us resistance growth speed when we have a core on it anyway? That makes no sense. Yeah, like like I would have loved to have recognised Ulster Scots because Ulster Scots is a Gaelic language, like. God damn it! What? I hate that this is. Uh, there should be like a, a, a middle path where you repress the unionists, but also still recognise Ulster Scots, do cultural unity stuff. I American dream. Improve armed protection, please. What was that like? Yes, I was going to do so. I'm not keep getting distracted. Spirit of the and we'll, we'll do we'll definitely do this first. Yeah, professional officer corps army experience gain plus five percent daily command power plus 0.2 land auction cost minus five percent. We are professionals and war is our profession. Five army experience. Now this I usually go for flexible organizations as far as I remember. Division training time minus fifteen percent is really good. I wish the Russians I bet the Russians would want that right about now. Yeah, reserve officers. But no, you cannibalize the training cadres and you send them into Ukraine. This is the problem with having a spy as your leader. The, the spies don't think don't think strategically; they think tactically. Because the world of a spy doesn't really extend beyond a year or more. It's very much a, a tactical situation rather than you know things change rapidly. Imagine if you set set back the clock and do everything properly. That would have been. Would have been nice. No. Yes, I'll go flexible organization. Divisions, or will I? Reserve officers is very nice. I'll leave that to later. I'm not quite sure what I'll pick. I don't definitely what I'll pick here. Naval refit yards. Naval refit yards. Uh, ship refitting speed plus 25%. Ship repair speed plus 50%. Minimizing time to dock maximizes the time a ship can be at sea. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, this one I know what I'll do here as well. The... Uh, uh, surveys, air crew surveys. Where is it? Yes, here we are. Air crew surveys, air accidents chance minus 25%, air adoptions cost minus 50%. After all, they're the ones using the equipment, so why not ask them? A revolutionary idea. Nice. Now, what shall we do? Ooh, 25%? That is huge. 
It's not even on core territory either. That's that's massive. Ridiculously overpowered. That's stupid. It, it would have made sense if it was on core territory, or maybe like core territory minus Ulster, I guess. But that's just yeah, that's really strong. That's a, that's a good one right there. Oh no, Duffy gets more to feel Marshall sore. Yeah. Although our stability is quite low. Yeah, we, we have to do this. March alongside the blue shirts. No, no, no. We're not marching alongside the blue shirts. The blue shirts are marching alongside us. L let, let that be known. Bad Pop is 2,500. Uh, Nat Pop and Pat Ott each get 8% popularity. Oh, Duffy gets more to the field. Marshal, that's, that's about right, yeah. Move post Collins Chaos, which grants stated political power cost plus 0.1, stability minus 10%. The blue shirts of Old Duffy may not be members of the Architects of the Resurrection, but they share many similar ideas to our movement. Uh, with Keno, Garoldo, Quinnagon even serving in, the, in their militia as a youth, we shall allow the blue shirts to continue on about their business, but as an official arm of the state and part of the party, and, and, and on a tight leash to avoid unnecessary bloodshed and backlash with their anti-Protestant attitudes and check C. The O'Quinnagon somehow being, like, Catholic supremacist while at the same time, like, keeping the... the pro like, ah, uh, it's, it's, it's flip-floppity, I don't like it. Together we shall build a safe, strong and deeply pious Ireland truly in tune with our traditionalist roots. Yes. I, I just wish that they would have kept him true to life and, and had him be the Christian nationalist and and, and exemplify that in the tree here. Like, like maybe like um you know how sometimes things are mutually exclusive but you can hop between them? Like like if you do this one, like you can still do this one, and if you do that one you can do this one, stuff like that. I don't know, that would have been cool. It would just allow you to do multiple of them. Or even just rework the goddamn thing. I'm very happy with the new political tree, but the rest of it does still need a bit of work. <laughs> Either way, it's a massive improvement over what it was. Oh shit, it's been ages since I looked at this. What's the... What's going on? How, how are things? The Hungarians are here. Oh, they fucked it up. God damn it. Oh shit. They fucked it up. Fuck. What do I do? The Italians seem to be doing well enough, though. That's good. They, they managed to beat them back. Ah, uh, sugar. What do we do? I do want to see them win, though. That's the thing. Oh, no, I, I know. I'll, I know. I don't like cheating, but if I have to, then I do. Or then I will, rather. Uh, what is... I could have sworn that there was a uh, delete army. Something here, isn't there? I could have sworn there was a delete army button. No? Nobody here? MMT? No, not that. PMT? No. That is unfortunate. In that case, it's old school. AUS is Austria, I'm assuming. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Uh, I'll also do delete all units H U N. Uh, I'm not too sure what your to is. It, it sees that E, isn't it? It is. That's fair enough. C -Z -E. Do Slovakia, S V K. I want that alliance, so I am going to do it. Oh, Galicia came back as well. That's annoying. The Austrians are fighting the Italians, the Serbians, the Romanians. They were fighting the Hungarians and they were fighting the Bulls and they still fucking won. God damn it. It's a ho oh, Illyrius has less troops. My bad. Illyrius has less troops. And a lot of troops not out as well. Crow. Yeah, 37 hours. 37 units. It's a lot. Hurry up and defeat them. Oh, you fight. Oh, you're still fighting Venice. VNC. There we are. That should be that. Fantastic. Uh, Post Collins Chaos. I don't believe we got a chance to, to read that. Here we are. Daily physical power cost plus 0.1, stability minus 10%. Tragedy has stricken Ireland, the hero of Irish independence, and the man who has led our country through, through thick and thin has been brutally slain. The chaos from his death has torn our isle apart at the seams and it could prove to be the new government's downfall if not properly dealt with. Ooh. Who's still fighting? Oh, they lose everyone's troops. So who is it? Not you. Not you. Not you. Have you got troops out already? Bloody hell.
you can just satisfy so many by by dissolving the Austro Hungarian Empire. So you can satisfy the Italians, satisfy the Serbs, satisfy many South Slavs, satisfy the Romanians, satisfy the Poles, uh, satisfy the Czechs and, and Slovaks in many ways, satisfy the Hungarians as well. <laughs> they had their uh, they had their what the hell is this? Is that yeah, that's the Poles. Never mind, that's the Poles. But who are you fighting? It's, it's satisfy the Hungarians in many ways. They had their revolt and got crushed. So in our in our own time, I was on top of the Hungarian Revolution. I love how Italy is, is, is taking like all the land that they're planning on taking in the future. Like it's, it's only natural as well, but they kind of look, things were looking pretty good there at the, at the, uh, at the time. That's great. And what else do we have? We'll read these when we're kind of short on stuff to read. Also, let me let me read about this popular patriotism. Less of a concrete ideology, more of a vague collection of groups that finding themselves in a similar predicament. Popular patriotism describes social democratic parties who have aligned themselves with the national populist movements. Okay, oftentimes from desperation, although shared oh, excuse me, ideological zeal can also be observed. Such alliances come about for no other coalition being, uh, being possible to form. In practice, governments uh, operating under those terms try to combine social democratic welfare and electoral policies while trying to curb the most radical forms of nationalism in favour of a highly militant brand of civic patriotism combined with fanatical condemnation of all forms of public controlism outside the democratic spectrum. Okay. Hello, sir. Do you speak Irish? With the A and H's Gaelic Revival project in full swing, several new purity brigades have been formed. While mostly unofficial, these brigades are mostly made of angry citizens. With a few Irish professors thrown in, have been given approval from the Canada to dispense justice. Please, oh God, it's my bro. These streets roam the streets, quizzing random citizens on their proficiency of the Irish language. Those who receive a pat, uh, those who pass, receive a pat on the back and occasionally a drink. All those who fail are presented with two options: renounce their renounce their Englishness, fantastic, and attend mandatory Irish classes or face the wrath of the brigades. Punishments are typically a large fine or small amount of jail time. It is not a beating. However, the most egregious offenders of English barbarism face lifelong prison sentences or extreme cases of death. I was going to say, yeah, they sound like lynchings and beatings. Limestair Gwilga Awan Neil Berla. We'll go Warn means one Irish. Um, specifically uh, Irish and not Ireland. And Neil Berla. Neil Berla means no English. But I'm not sure what Lumister means. It's not language. It wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense for a language. Irish territory, sphere, scope, region. Okay. Man, Harmon is funny, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't sound in the least bit peaceful. Uh, that is that is kind of strong. Now, open Christian corporatism for Ireland. Add open Christian corporatism for Ireland, which grants consumer goods factories minus 5%, construction people's 5%, factory output plus 10%. Embracing the ideas of corporatism and class cooperation, Gan uh, Ganera. Canara Garoro Quinagon has pushed ahead with his plans to transform Ireland into a Christian and corporatist dictatorial republic under himself and God above. An oddity among the Irish right of Quinagon is not against Protestants. Yeah, exactly. Embracing both them and Catholics, long as I swear loyalty to our state and our identity over any foreign group or figure. And as such, these Unitarian Christian beliefs shall become the foundation of our pious corporatism. Material poisons and viruses such as capitalism and public controlism shall be rejected and removed from the apparatus of state, and the classes shall live and work together in harmony to create a new e e economy and financial system that supports all true children of Ireland without falling prey to predatory ideologies and misguided leftist populism. Several of these focuses should apply to Oquinagon, and I'm very annoyed that I cannot, cannot have them. How are we doing in, our t in terms of artillery? We're fine. We're still training? Oh god, no, you. Listen up! What? what the hell happened here? You're training, but you're not training. What the hell? Send you whatever. That was weird. Ready, sir. Wait, so who's throwing up the fight here? Oh damn! <laughs> nice one, Bobo. Nice one. He got the land, but he didn't get all the land, did he? No, he didn't. Are you, are you guaranteed by anyone? No, I'm not. Okay. You're very much still at war with them. 
Why is it that they've s that they're somehow not collapsing? I'll, I'll keep my eye on this. Here we are. Illyria joined the Reich's Pact. Not a fucking chance. No, 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 no. Nice one. Nice try, though. That, that, it was a nice try. But that's not going to work. No, sir. Alrighty. State managing tool. I assume we have a core on this. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Most definitely give you these. Without a doubt. Oops. That is a nice survey, to be fair. I think, yeah, you already have a port, so I will give that to the Italians. And that is fine. I mean, yeah, is it Italy without fume? It's not. Won't give them that because that's Slovenia. That probably belongs to the Austrians, in all fairness. But yeah, yeah, like if you were driven way back, I don't really intend on giving you th letting you keep this at all. See, that seems way too lenient. Okay, I'll be honest. Yeah, country annexing too, annexing Illyria into Serbia. Yeah, there we are. That's fair. Serbia, can I go swimming? Italy, no. <laughs> but you can go swimming in Podgorica, that's about it. Now, will I let you keep Slovakia? It is a West Slavic territory. Then again, so is, yeah, so is so are the Czechs. And, and yeah, the Poles are currently the only free West Slavs. They, get, they did get a lot of territory. They got cracked off, they got Galicia, which is nice to be fair. I think I might let them keep that. But I might, I might annex it into Hungary. Or, or no. Or will I just... What will I do here? I know, it's weird It's weird to, for them to have this, but not that. It's very odd. Yeah, I think I might just give that to the Hungarians. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I'll leave, I'll leave the rest of the Reichs back. That's good. That's good. And now you, now you can attack... Uh, Hungarian. Treaty of Budapest, force has been defeated. Improved armor protection, get the improved engines. And doctrines, that's fine. Uh, yes, I should probably go to partial mobilization. That will be what, minus 10% consumer goods? Yes. Nice, 11. How to get another minus 5%? What's it currently at? Okay, down to 20%, that's pretty good. That is, that's all fine. No. 132,000 men, okay. I have 272,000 men, roughly. We do need more artillery, though, because, yeah, we don't even have, have enough artillery for our current, uh, current men. Also, yes, I wanted to. Is, this, is it still bugged? No, no, it's fine. Or was I just doing it wrong? I'm getting the feeling that I was doing it wrong. Get me Lynch and Owner Duffy. It's probably not a good idea for the Taoiseach to be simultaneously a field marshal, and I'm getting the feeling that it's not a ceremonious role, ceremonial role either. He like he generally wants to be, you know, in command of actual units. He wants to be a field marshal. Ready, ready to move. We're going to use every single oh. general we have. When we're doing this. I think we'll have enough. No, I'm not going to. Ready to move! I'm close. Fall in! Yes, sir! <coughs> now there we are. Just space them out a bit. Attention! Come on! Ready to move. We've got six divisions, you've got four, you've got 
got three. Hold it! So just space that out. In all fairness. So you've got four. You've got four. You've got five. Someone has to have five. That's fine. Uh, are you better than? We'll try call more men, though. We have enough. We don't have enough infantry group for that, but you, you can be training away, you know, because we will need you eventually. That is fine. Hey, we will just do here. Yeah. Listen up! Attention! Two, three, Ready! Sign some traits here. Organization first. Uh, not happy with those. Improvisation expert is very nice. nice. That's just for convoys. I don't care too much about that. Yeah, that's great. Attention! Oh, Duffy as well. What can you guys? Logistics wizard. All right, not not bad. Not bad. Gonna die soon now. Now, Legionnaire Italy looking damn good. The Serbia have claims? You, yeah, you would have claims on all that stuff, wouldn't you? That is fair, but I am going to have to remove them all. Uh, no, this way. Alright, I'll say to this country, remove, remove cores, and then do it again, and remove claims. Gotta keep things right between the countries that we intend on aligning with. Isn't that Hungarian Slovenia? I think it might be. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. You had the you had the Serbs kind of behind a river a little bit, but not near. Yeah, there we are. This is, things are going very, very uh, well without a war. It is. Not, how the fuck are we an hour and 17? Why is time flying? That's because I'm having fun. Oh, what the f. Vlasov lost. What the hell? And now you're a puppet of Ukraine. Oh my god, that is just terrible. What in the name of God? How did you lose, Vlasov? You're not supposed to lose. Not, not in southern Russia, anyway. That's terrible. What? Oh my god. How did you get Magadan and Akotsk? Who's here? Still Kolchak. What the fuck? What? What's going on in here, by the way, boy? Maklakov. Social liberals. Mm, okay. It's weird seeing Russia not being extremist. <laughs> who, who would you have gone for? Who would have... What party are you? KDP. Okay. I think you went for the leftist. I think you went, yeah, the, the, the leftist branch. The monarchy, I believe. Now, a new. Uh, focus. First, I wanted to say factory, then I wanted to say national spirit. Now, crackdown against the Anglos. Replace, promote traditional Celtic revivalism with cracked out white. With like, you just have those be separate focuses. Effective change, daily political power gain plus point zero three. Monthly population minus three percent. Conflict support uh, plus three. Or stability plus three percent. Conflict support plus ten percent. Division defense on core territory plus two percent, and a plus twenty five percent defense bonus against the Canadians and the British. That is ridiculous. The Anglo-Saxon or English culture can barely be called a culture at all. How? For they are no more than a wretched conglomeration of thieves, tyrants, of vultures, and parasites. In their long history, they have been nothing but mutts and conquerors, subjugating lands to spread their wretched and mishappen, or, yeah, mishappen? Mishappen? Mishappen. 
identity as they steal the cultural creations and genius of other groups all to overcompensate for their own pathetic and bacteria like existence that'll probably get me banned or at least fucking hate speech thingy uh, what's it called hate speech strike yeah Miss Cleanse Ireland of this failed group and their vile taints that our Emerald Isle can be finally free and truly holy Celtic once again we shall move to slowly limit the use of the English language that's based in Ireland until it has been entirely eradicated from the local vernacular and uh, laws shall be well actually no it's kind of useful uh, laws shall be passed to limit the rights and privileges of any Anglos foolish enough to stay on our island we will purify Celtica and end the centuries of subjugation these foul dogs have wrought upon us for here and now dawn the age of the Celtic resurrection a bacteria like existence fucking hell Why not? I should probably do this. YouTube, I don't agree with any of this. I'm just playing it. Well, I don't agree with something, actually. But um, I'm just playing a path to video game. It's not real. So, yeah. Just Definitely agree with the Gaelic vibe. It doesn't That's based. English should be taught as a second language. It's very useful. What should I use this for? I suppose, uh, extraction tech, just to maximize what other resources we do have, would be decent. Yeah. things going here oh, I just I just oh man I just I just I just get sad thinking about the Kaiser just get sad oh we built, we built the factories didn't we what are we building building factories somewhere I think Fourteen spinning factories we have. Not bad. Not bad. What next? I believe it's two focuses uh, that we can choose from next. Yes, yes. Here we are. That's it's all right. That's much better, yeah. Well, all right, lads, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I didn't intend for it to go on so long. I kind of got lost in it, to be honest. But it kind of compensates a bit for uh, for no episode yesterday, though. Not really. It compensates one-third for yesterday. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. I shall see you in the next episode, where we will finish off O'Quinnagon's tree. Uh, and... Mm, yeah, the second one we might kick off, but might be a bit early yet. Um... Uh, we shall certainly involve ourselves in the Uniting the Nation tree, as well as perhaps more of the economic tree. I shall see you then, or even the military tree, because um, naval... No, no, not that one. Yeah, it's this one, my bad. Maybe the uh, medium industry for, uh, tree. Something like that. I'm not too sure. I can't do anything else here. Yeah. That is fine. Maybe air on the world stage or something like that. I, I know that there's actually... You get civilian factories if you end the trade war. So, like... You could easily just end the trade war, but then just like get into a war with Britain anyway. So <laughs> you get the best of both worlds. So I shall see you then.